Hello ho there neighborinos. Just a quick disclaimer before I actually get started. The true specifications of the upcoming Vibe Cosmos headset have not yet been released as of the time of this recording. What I'll be going over today is what we know for a fact as well as what we can likely expect out of the upcoming headset. The true specifications are scheduled to be released this weekend. So that way you can end up referencing this video and telling your friends how I'm such a huge liar. So let's get started. Oh, almost forgot. Everything I, everything we do know, you can find right here. Everything I'll be speculating on, you can find right here. Let's get started. So first off, we know for a fact it's going to allow for six degrees of freedom, allowing for better tracking, better immersion, all that kind of jazz. Next up, we do know it's going to be done using inside out tracking. which is going to be handled through six onboard cameras you can find here, here, and here at relative points around the headset itself. As a part of that tracking, you can, it will be tracking light up controllers similar to those of the Oculus systems. The only difference between those and the Oculus touch controllers is that these ones are going to light up. So, Consider them like sketchers. Light, light up things. And same model, just a, a different thing. Next up, we know for a fact it's going to allow for a PC VR connection. Sorry. <clears throat> Using a, a single cable that comes out of the back of the headset. Judging by the picture, it looked to be a couple meters long. So that should give you a little bit of wiggle room as far as how far you can set up your, your play space. Next up, we do have a quarter three of 2019 launch window. So that is going to be any time between the start of July, which is here in about a week and a half as of recording in this video, and the end of September. We could likely expect that window to shift, however, when the specs actually get released this weekend. And something else, I, I already touched on this when I went over the inside out tracking, but we are going to see six camera sensors that we can find around the headset itself. So like I said, this is all the stuff we know for a fact, and this is stuff we can see just out of their website. Let's see. Oh, it's also being marketed. Marketed against uh, Oculus headsets. And I'm, I'm not sure about you guys, but the most recent Oculus headsets I can think of that launched include the Rift S and the Quest. Both, both specifications of which I will be referencing in this video to try to demonstrate what we can expect. Some of what we don't know includes resolution for starters. Now if we compare their commercial grade products like say the Vive Pro I, the Vive Pro, or maybe even the Vive Focus, all of those share the same resolution. We could say the same thing about the Rift S or the Oculus Quest. All five of those headsets share the same resolution. They may not have the same color palette necessarily, but we'll get into that here in a second. The resolution though, not 16,000, 1600, is going to be 1440 by 1600. So that is something that's at this point pretty well in the bag. The same thing could be said for their field of view if we compare their commercial grade products to the Rift S 
for instance, all of them share the same field of view, 110 degrees. They may try to go further, but I highly doubt it because they're, the Vive Cosmos is considered closer to a consumer grade product rather than an enterprise one, if that makes sense. And then something else we can expect is a, a good weight ratio. Something that we kind of expect at this point is something that's less than 600 grams as even the Vive Pro I or the, the Vive headset and even the, the Rift S all share a 500 to 600 gram weight so it's going to be somewhere in that in that in that range and 1.2 pounds now as far as tracking goes one of the things we can expect is that although although this is considered more of a consumer grade product one of the things that we can expect is that it's not going to include any external sensors as, as I'm sure you could guess by now the parentheses are all things that we don't know for sure and we'll end up getting those later on in the week now as far as price goes because this is considered to be closer to a consumer grade product I am expecting something closer to 500 to 600 dollars somewhere in there because they still want it to be comparable in price to the upcoming or the, the previous Rift products that just launched at the end of May the Rift S and the Quest I know those ones are a little overboard when it comes to price but HTC does want to try to make a profit even on their consumer grade products so five to six hundred dollars does seem like even if it's not necessarily reasonable from a consumer standpoint it is likely one of the things they kind of tease and that was this is the thing that I said I'd touch on earlier in the video was that it could be plugged into a smartphone Now, the only headset that is shown in the picture is a single USB Type-C connection. So as far as how it'll be done, it'll be done using a display port USB Type-C. Come to think of it, let's put that in its own line, shall we? That way I don't lose my whole hand. Now of course, there is one last thing. What kind of phone is going to be capable of running this? One of the things that we've seen on the Oculus Quest is that it uses a Snapdragon 835 processor one thing I can expect or one thing that I do expect rather is that it's going to be using a snapdragon a 45 or better that being said you should be able to plug in your headset go wherever it is your phone goes assuming you have this type of processor well at, at least this quality processor the, 
the like I said, the quest has an 835. So this upcoming headset, the Vive Cosmos, is likely going to use an 845 just to try to prove that it's slightly better or try to take better care and use out of the software that it is capable of. So that is just about everything that we know, everything we can expect, everything that I expect out of this upcoming headset. Like I said, share this with your friends, tell them how much of a liar I am, and I will see you guys later. Ta-ta for now. If you liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible human being for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.